Tan and Wash is so brilliant. This is the sixth episode of the fifth season of Cheers, directed, of course, by the wonderful James Burroughs. And there will be spoilers from now as I talk about this episode. I also have quite a few quotes that I want to share. And while me sharing the quotes does not do them justice at all, I still want to mention them because this episode is, like many, an absolute delight. It starts off with a pretty entertaining opening with Sam talking about a dream he had where he had no pants and then the others start to talk about dreams. And then Woody talks about a dream he had where he went into a restaurant and he had to leave his legs at the door, which is strange enough, and everybody's eating cutlery. And he says, and I quote, you can't really enjoy your fork. And he goes on to explain why this is the case. And it's a very, very light-hearted, entertaining intro that I really thoroughly enjoyed. We then cut to the next scene and Diane asks Sam if she can leave work 10 minutes early, two weeks from this Wednesday, which is very forward planning, very Diane. And it's because she has a date with somebody called Chad. Now, we don't actually meet Chad, which I think was probably the right decision. And Sam is not caring at all at least he's trying to pretend he doesn't care and diane is willingly giving him all of this information and i think it's quite interesting that diane after a couple of episodes after well six episodes five six episodes sam has dated other women diane is now ready to see other people as well and it gives us so much uncertainty about the future of sam and diane at this point we then get the main narrative being established and that is the fact that norm has well first of all he has some good seats for an upcoming Sox yankees game and they're from a former client and then he starts to tell us about this tan and wash this idea where it's basically a combination of a tanning booth and uh, a laundrette and that seems like a recipe for disaster Nevertheless, he makes it sound like this really great venture and everybody wants in. And even Diane wants in, although Sam says, and I quote, I hope nobody was looking for a silent partner. Norm is kind of reluctant. He doesn't want to go into business with friends. But nevertheless, he agrees. And then a little while later, Norm comes back into Cheers. Carla starts to quiz him about Tan and Wash because apparently she went down there. It wasn't very busy. But then we have a series of very funny entrances and they just get better and better because Norm has a marketing tactic. And this is the form of advertising the effects of the tanning booth. And Sam comes in looking very, very summery, very entertaining. And then Cliff comes in looking tanned. He left his socks on, which is very funny. And then Woody comes in, which is, I thought, about as funny as it could get. It was brilliant. Oh, no, it gets better. Then Fraser comes in, and it kind of malfunctioned for Fraser, And it didn't go according to plan, but I found it to be very funny, increasingly funny. Diane then comes in. Everybody just coming into cheers one by one. Diane comes in singing. At Sam's prompting, Woody goes to ask her what the date was like. And I think that that's also very interesting, that Sam is pretending to not care, but then he's sending Woody to find out about it, which I think is really, really fascinating. And Woody comes back and delivers the story to Sam, as Diane has told it, talking about her porcelain-like hand. And I just, I love the way Diane describes herself. I think it's just so beautiful. And then Diane comes back in and we have what I consider to be the funniest quote in the entire episode. <laughs> in fact, one of the funniest of all time. Diane sees Fraser, who obviously looks like he's had a bad time at, at, at Tan and Wash. And she says to him, Fraser, sunburn? <laughs> and Fraser replies, no, I'm doing my impression of a blood blister. <laughs> I absolutely... <laughs> I find it very, very entertaining. Easily one of my favourite quotes from Fraser ever, including quotes from the TV show Fraser. Diane then tells Sam she's breaking it off with Chad. And Sam fools her into thinking he's bothered. But actually, I think what Sam was saying about how it was keeping him up and he was worried about her spending time with him, he's doing this as if he's pretending. But I think he's telling the truth. I think that's how Sam really feels. And then we go back to Tan and Wash, the narrative, and we have what I consider to be a really brilliant Norm moment. One of my favourite Norm moments, because Norm comes into Shears, 
nobody says Norm. And, and Norm does it himself. He says Norm, Norman, asks himself a question, and it's just beautifully executed. And it turns out that this is because things have not gone well with Tannenwash, and everybody's really annoyed at him. And his initial fears of going into business with friends was kind of coming into realization that this is actually a bad idea and everybody's really mad at him. But then we have everybody apologizing because it turns out Tan and Wash actually did better than they expected. And while everybody had been wanting out of the project, Norm actually kept them in, which I feel like was a bad idea, but it paid off on this occasion. And he presents them all with this information that actually they've made a bit of money and everybody's really excited and it's really happy. And we get a couple more quotes that I absolutely love. It's snowing more heavily outside, which is obviously driving people to the tanning part. And Diane says, it's a harbinger of good fortune. And Carla replies, you said it, bum butt, which I actually I actually had to listen to twice because I was kind of confused as to the, the phrase bum butt. I've never heard of that before, having bum and then butt. But it's adorable. And I really loved that. I thought it was very cute. And then Sam excitedly says, let's go play in the snow. And Carla, we have a couple more quotes that I love. Carla says, last one out's a Clavin, which I thought was fantastic. And what I love about this is that this is a recurring theme. Because as they're all running out, Diane is left behind. She's the one at the end. And she whinges, I'm always the Clavin, giving the impression there that this is a game they play often. And I just think that is the cutest thing ever. Unfortunately, it's not all fun in games because Norm gets a phone call at Cheers and unfortunately, the heavy snowfall that has given them their good fortune caused the roof of Tan and Wash to collapse and they didn't have insurance. And it's a bit of a bummer to end things on that note, but it's a very delightful episode, very, very funny Fraser doing his impression of a blood blister is just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> really loved it. Brilliant episode. Very entertaining. I'd say one of one of my favourites from season five. I don't know if it's one of my favourites of all time because there are many, many, many amazing episodes, but it could well be. Definitely made me laugh out loud on multiple occasions, and I'm sure it's one I will always, always enjoy. Tan and Wash is pretty perfect. 